Hello and welcome to part 4 of my July 2013 update. Part 3 was all about the DVDs and this part is back to Blu-rays. I'll probably split this into two parts rather than do one long video because this can end up being quite long otherwise. And let's put some awesome still books in here. These aren't any these aren't in any particular order. But um, if I do see some uh, some releases, I'll, I'll open them together. So, excuse any glare. I've got the light on. I've also got the window open as well. It's quite warm, so that you may get some background noise in there. So, let's say the first one we're going to start with is a BFI release, and this is Free Jennings, and this is Volume Three: A Diary for Timothy. This is the third of the three that they're releasing. Uh, volume one and volume two. Not sure off the top of my head what the, which what they're called. But this now completes all the Humphrey Jennings films being released on Blu-ray. And a couple of um, features there. There have been some of these films released in different BFI box sets um, on DVD, but these are the Blu-ray releases. Although this does have a DVD disc inside as well. Next one is a release from Mr. Bongo, and it feels like a long, long time since they last released anything. They did release a lot of DVDs and then they released a Blu-ray and then they've been quiet for quite a, while, uh, quite a while. They have released music as well, world music, but films did not released much and this is the latest Blu-ray, Tropicalia. Looking there. Don't think there's any extra features on there. It's the film. I'm not sure what the sound is, it's Portuguese. So, so don't know if it's 5.1 or what. There's that one. And you should see there what it's about. So let me go into too much detail about it. Not sure they've got anything else in the pipeline to release, um, but I'll oh, keep updated if there is. I've got a an in-depth look to do on the titles I have by them. I will do that some time. I've got a few of those I need to do still. So uh, probably do that in a few weeks' time. Next up, this is The Brood. This is a David Cronenberg film. And again, it's a second sight release. I showed you a few of their titles in the DVD in the last video. And this is basically about a brood of mutant children attacking people. You see there the synopsis. It's got some good extra features on there. Um, I have found that if you play this on the PS3 and you go to this bonus features menu, it won't work. It locks up, and I've tried it on my Samsung player as well, normal Blu-ray player. Same problem with that. I know some people have got it to work on their Blu-ray players. Uh, I have contacted them about this. Don't know if they're already aware and what they're going to do, but. The only way you can play the extra features is if you go into the film itself and then go on the pop-up menu and access them that way. So I'm not sure they'll do a replacement. I mean, you can get onto them, but it's a bit awkward to do that. I'd rather they were accessible from the main menu. But uh, it's an early David Cronenberg film. Hoping that they do release Shivers and Rabbit to his first films on Blu-ray. Nice to see. 
that was originally on Anchor Bay that, that film so the other two weren't so I don't know who the rights are with those for the moment next one is uh, George Lucas film this is THX 1138 this is director's cut I know not a lot of people aren't happy with this director's cut They'd rather have the original version but George Lucas seems to do what, what he wants so like with Star Wars he doesn't want you to see them on Blu-ray so he puts his own cut out on there and a good selection of extra features on there this is not one I owned on DVD never bothered to pick it up um, this has got issues on this I know some people from what read reviews and comments that people have tried to play this disc and it just freezes up and they're to attach SD cards or USB sticks on there to get it to play I know it works on the PS3 but I mean that's got a hard drive I need not try this on my Samsung uh, Blu-ray player to see if it works properly I think people are saying that they've tried to cram too much on this disc. Um, this film itself is 88 minutes, but I think the, the main length of extra features is the documentaries there. Back in the day of DVD, this would have been disc one for the film and disc two for the special features, but the Blu ray, unless there's a lot of extra features, they tend to put them onto one disc with the film. Not sure if this is his first film he directed, it might be, or his first major film he directed. Next one, uh, this is Harry Brown starring Michael Caine. Um, this is all getting compared to as a British Grand Torino. Uh, this stars uh, Michael Caine, and it's also got Ian, if I can't find his name on here. can't see the person's name fortunately um, but the other person in this film I'm sure has been cast to play uh, William Hartnell in one of the Doctor Who biopic uh, dramas and basically about his friend who gets killed and he takes out revenge on people who were to blame Again, it's not everyone seems to like this film. I enjoyed it. I watched it, I watched it uh, last week. Big fan of Michael Caine anyway. And I think he puts a really good performance into this. Okay, and we'll do this Hot Shots first. Because as you can see, we've got part two there. Um, this is, say, Hot Shots. So Charlie Sheen. And... First time I saw this was at the cinema back in 91, so 21, 22 years ago. I've got the DVDs of these. I think there's a there's a scene of this where he's cooking a fried egg on. I can't find the lady's name, unfortunately, in here. Um, where is it? Yeah, Valeria Galina Fucking Friday gone to stomach. I think that scene was cut out on the DVD. I've not actually checked that to make sure. But it's on the Blu ray. So I think this is the fully uncut version. And this is. I think from the same people who bought this Naked Gun. If you like the kind of Naked Gun films, then I'd recommend this. Seem to go a bit downhill after the Hot Shots films, the spoofs. It's got a scary movie, but a lot of them were just a bit rubbish after that. They weren't too funny. Um, I think Superhero Movie, which was basically a comedy version of Spider Man. And followed the story well enough, but I just didn't find it too funny. And it's a, there's a few other ones like that Meet the Spartans, those kind of films. Um, this is Hot Shots Part 2. 
using the same sort of numbering system as Naked Gun. So with Naked Gun, Naked Gun 2.5 and, and Naked Gun 33 and a third. And again, some extra features on here. I think this is the uncut version again. Not checked it to make sure. I haven't watched this for quite a while. Um, we'll get watch this again soon. Just more than two. Do want to watch them both together? So I'll watch that sometime this week. Next up is a Arrow video release, and this is the car. And this is a story of a car that goes around attacking people, a driverless car. I'm not sure, sure how similar it is to Christine's the Stephen King story, but I've not watched that yet. But there's a lot of extra features on here. And I was very pleased to, when I heard that they were releasing this when they announced it a few months ago. The last saw this, I think, was it 2011 I saw this? It might have been 2012. So I'll probably watch this again soon. Don't necessarily like to watch a, a film again that I've seen too recently. But I saw it on DVD so it looks better on Blu-ray. It's more enough reason probably to watch it again. And it's got a reversible sleeve and a booklet inside. Next up, I think I've shown you um, I'm sure I've shown series one of this in might have been July part one or June's um, one June's videos. This is Psychoville, so it's series two. Now I could have got the box set for this, but with um, series one, but it was actually cheaper to buy the two separate in the Amazon offer. And this has got the Halloween special, but it's the US cuts, which was put in there by mistake. It's the shorter version. And some extra feet on there as well. And that must be in a they were balls up by someone. But what they have done, which means I've had to buy it separately, they've released the Halloween special on its own disc. And fair play to them, they've put some extra feet on there. And this is the full full length version of it. So anybody who, who likes things such as uh, League Gentlemen, possibly even Mighty Boosh, sort of offbeat comedy, so it's a real comedy in a way, I don't know if you want to describe it, recommend this. They've only made two series in the Halloween special, don't think they're going to make any more of this. So that's all the ones they've got. Uh, next one, this is series 3 of Gavin and Stacey. I got all this on a Blu ray and was waiting for this to drop in price. And I got this the offer, um, same as the Psychoville, it was 2 for £10. I've got this on DVD, but I wanted it on Blu ray, so I thought I'd get it because usually it's about 7 or 8 quid on its own. And it's basically the same as the DVD in terms of extra features. But I've got the full set now, so it's one, two, three, and the Christmas special. Next up is a release from HA Films, and this is Castle Freak. You can see there's a lot of extra features on there. Some of it are just trailers listed separately, but some of the stuff on there. And this is directed by Stuart Gordon, who also um, directed The Beyonds. Actually, it wasn't The Beyond, was it? Um, I'm actually. Um, I think what else he did, I can't see what else he directed. Oh, yeah, From Beyond, I think it was. So I haven't got the 
details to hand, but I think that's that's one of the ones being released on se um, Second Sight. Is that Castle Freak? Yeah, from Beyond. This is then uh, Reanimator. Yeah, the two those two are getting released on Second Sight. So I know it's a film called Beyond. Um, that's an hour video release. Completely different. Next up is the latest Entertainment Store exclusive uh, steelbook release. This has, isn't embossed. It's still got a seal at the moment. That's a G.I. Joe Retaliation. It's got the 3D disc and the 2D disc in there as well. There was going to be a steelbook of the first film coming out through play. But as they went marketplace only, it never got released. Uh, Team America War Police was another one of those, but it's got picked up and that's coming out through Zavi. So hopefully um, the first one of these comes out in Steelbook. So I'm holding off buying it for the moment. I've left all these ones sealed. Um, I may open them, I'm not sure. I think if I want to watch it, I have to buy a separate copy. And I don't really want to be buying another copy of this just to watch it. So I either leave the seal and don't watch it, or I buy one to watch. The reason I'm not opening this because, uh, well, at the moment, because it's 2,000 copies. And although other still books are limited, things like this, I tend to leave sealed because they're more limited. And if I was to sell it in the future, I won't. I wouldn't sell it, but if I was. Because a lot of them have been opened, I've got a better chance of getting a better price with it being sealed. I mean, it may not be the greatest film, but people still do want this. Although, actually, at the time of recording, I think it is still available on their on their website through Play. So, but it will sell out at some point. And I'll just uh, one more title for this part, and I'll do the next in part five. And this is the grey, so I'm Liam Neeson. And watched this earlier this year on Sky. And was always going to pick it up, but I wasn't particularly sure how good it was. And I was waiting for the price to come down on this bit. I saw it on Sky, really enjoyed it. Um, saw it on Play for about four quid. Um, Sarah bought it off. Did send it out, but never received it, so they refunded me. So, for that same price, I bought it through Amazon. Not, not a lot of extra features on there, you can see that. And I've probably only watched it for a bit now because I have seen it this year, but I wanted to pick the Blu ray up, so. And. There, on a plane, crashes in Alaska, and they're being hunted down by a pack of wolves. I won't get into any more detail on that because don't give the, too much of the story away. But I do recommend this if you're a fan of Liam Neeson. I'll just show you. I don't know if I showed you while I was, um, had this one out. They, um, G.I. Joe extra features. So not a lot on there actually. The extra features are on the, the 2D disc. So that's uh, all I'm going to show in this part. I've got a few more to do but this video is going to end up being half an hour. So I'll save those for part 5. Um, there will be a part 6 now because I've got some more titles to come later this week and next week so if I do those separately uh, there'll be a part of six I may may put them with these ones I don't know actually depends on I'll get around to filming the next video I'll film it next Monday then I'll probably put them all into part five um, if not I'll film one earlier then I'll split them into part five and part six but probably around the 20 titles to show this month I think so 
and there's a part for this part so far so as usual please rate comment and subscribe and as usual thanks for watching